Hello, you guys. Pleasure to be with you again today. Um, if I don't have the pleasure of knowing you yet, let me introduce myself. If you're catching me on the replay, will you hashtag replay and introduce yourself so I can say hello. And anybody that is going to be catching me live, thank you for tuning in and introduce yourself also while I'm introducing myself. So for those of you who do not know me yet, my name is Bethany Brown and I am very excited to be coming with um, coming to you with this training today. It's, it's an honor and thank you for inviting me into your space. I am a very, very proud Air Force veteran turned stay at home mom turned entrepreneur and network marketing professional. Um, my goodness, the Air Force journey was an amazing one. I thought I was going to do it for 20 years, but, um, little did I know that God had different plans for me. And about halfway through my service, about halfway through my 20 years, he called me out. He called me home. And I didn't know exactly why he was calling me home. I just followed him in obedience. And since then, oh my goodness, it has become so apparent. My kids needed me so much, um, especially uh, my special needs son. The balance was not there. I was not able to balance work and my home life anymore. I'm gonna switch. I don't think I can see comments right now. Quiet mode turned on. Whatever, we'll figure it out. If somebody will say a comment for me so I know that I can see them. Um, but he called me home and in that obedience, God opened up huge doors for me and oh my God, I'm on this wild ride now, right? Oh my goodness. I had no idea what an essential oil was. So of course I had never heard of Young Living. If I had even heard the word, hello Karen, thank you for saying hi, now I know I can see comments. I had never heard the word before. Is that anybody else's story? So I heard of, uh, I was introduced to essential oils in 2013. So it wasn't like all the rage yet. Um, which I think is kind of funny since essential oils have been around since like the first medicine ever, like, and God made trees. Ah. <laughs> but I hadn't heard of them at all until I witnessed some miracles. You guys, straight up miracles happening. And I was like, what? What are those, friend? What is going on? Teach me. Bring me in. And the rest is history. Um, the business really came to me. I just started as a user. A very, very, very curious user. But you know how it goes when something exciting is happening? It's all you can talk about. And you start sharing. Just naturally, right? So the business kind of evolved just from my overexcited sharing of the things I was discovering. And then from that, God used that avenue as a way for me able, to be able to provide for my family while staying home in obedience to him. So it's been beautifully worked together. And I'm able to stay home with my kids. I'm able to provide an income for my family, which allows us to eat the types of foods that I know nourish our bodies. It allows us to get the type of health care, not sick care, health care, wellness care, that I know my family needs, desperately needs. I know I never have to go back to a nine to five again. Hallelujah. I'm able to volunteer in my church. I'm able to volunteer on base. I'm able to volunteer in the different organizations that mean so much to my heart. And I'm already setting up in a retirement income. Like if I wanted to retire right now, I'd be comfortable. So hallelujah to that. So that's just me in a nutshell. Please introduce yourself. Thank you for those who have already introduced yourself. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jenna. So in a previous training, I showed you guys really the bare bones and outline of a successful and easy Young Living product class taught directly 
from the Young Living Lifestyle booklet, or you can even use a product guide. So just to quickly recap, you can find a previous video in this, it might have been in January. Um, your class starts with the introductions. This is where you tell your abbreviated, concise, and compelling story in under one minute. So the story I just told, abbreviate that down to a minute, and that would be your introduction. And then you, in, you invite your guests to invite themselves, introduce themselves, and always encourage them to share one thing they love to learn, or if they're already a user, a favorite Young Living product they already use. This is going to add um, dynamics to your class, and you'll be getting some product testimonies from somebody other than you, so it verifies what you are saying. So it's always good to have a couple of users in your class for external validation. And then you can take notes as they're saying what they're hoping to get out of the class, so you know what to address later in the class. And then you continue on telling um, by telling Young Living's story with what I called the four P's. And that's from a training I got through Sarah Robbins. And you can find the links to all of those trainings also um, in the previous life. So number one was partnership. Number two was products. Number three was programs. And number four was positioning and timing. So today I'm going to expand on the third and fourth P's which is the bones, the bare bones of closing a successful class. So I am going to show you how to close like a boss. Does anybody want to know how to close that class and feel confident doing it? Give me a huge raise of your hand because I know that is a skill that was hard to come by, right? All right, so three was programs. What is this? Programs. So this is where you would explain why network marketing is the best business model. Shuri, I gotcha. <laughs> um, this is where you would explain residual versus linear, linear income. So you've already talked about all the products and highlighted what you wanted to focus on in the class. And then you noticed one of the last pages, it starts with sharing the Young Living lifestyle and getting started with Young Living. So after the very last product page, which is KidSense, sharing the Young Living lifestyle. And that's where you start sharing what is this magic called residual income. And you're not going to just randomly tell this robotic answer. Jacqueline, this is the Discover Your Young Living Lifestyle booklet. You can buy it directly in your virtual office for 50 cents a pop. Yes. And this book is now coming in every single person's starter kit. So when you teach from this book, they go home and they remember everything you said because they have a visual reminder. And then they go home with something that they can teach the exact same class from. Duplication. Duplication's the name of the game, right? All right. So this is where you're going to tell what is residual income versus linear income. But you're not going to just tell it. Facts tell, stories what you guys we know we've all heard it all right so facts tell stories sell tell your expanded story your abbreviated story that you gave in the introduction this is where you're going to tell your expanded story start with your product why why do you use this product so this has nothing to do with the business side um, I'll give you my abbreviated product why, but this is going to be about you. But you want to emotionally connect with them here. So why did I, why did Bethany choose this lifestyle? Um, my business name is Unbound Bethany. Unbound is my word. What does unbound mean to me as far as product? Freed from shackles. 
freed from chains. Besides the fact that I am unbound and freed from shackles and chains because I am the daughter of the one true king, I have freedom of informed choice. So why is that so important to me? My siblings have been trapped due to what I'll call the misleading of society. They were duped. They were caught into a world of an addiction, hurt, and death. Um, This is where, I'm not going to give you all these stats, but this is where I like to give a bunch of uh, chemical statistics about cancer rates and pharmaceutical chemicals that are hidden in products and toxic substances. Throw in statistics here. These are alarming numbers and we want to alarm people. All right? A lot of them don't know because society, mainstream society is not telling us how toxic the things we are using are. All right? So I tell some statistics and it's really just more than my siblings. It's, it's an attack on my family. So because of this, I really have a strong, huge opposition to be being told, this is just how it is. I have seen what just doing the status quo provides somebody. My older sister, I had to bury her. She was younger than I am now. And it all started with a narcotic that she was prescribed after she broke her back. And then the broken system just poured them down her throat. And that addiction turns into another addiction. And that addiction turns into another addiction, right? We all have this story. We all know somebody that this is deeply deeply affecting. I have two other sisters that I currently get to write in prison. Like, I'm sharing this. Not to alarm you guys. Obviously, this is something that's deeply important to me. This is a very private part of my life but they are being attacked yes there's personal responsibility there all right but there is a role in the cover-up of not knowing what is in our medication not knowing what is in our products chemically poisoning our bodies for decades upon decades, there are repercussions. And I do not get told that's just the way it is. I am unbound. I have freedom of informed choice. And it is my goal to give every single other person I know that freedom of informed choice. Um, I really love how Maya Angelou put it. She said, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. So I inform people and then they take that information and do with it what they will. At that point, it's out of my hands. Um, And this is where I lead into my business why. Your business why gets to be in every single product class, not just a business class. We want to show people that sharing is normal. The compensation plan is the best product Young Living has. Can I get an amen? So this is where I flow into my business. Why? Unbound. What does that mean in a business sense to me? Freedom of life. I am not shackled by somebody else's schedule, pay scale, meeting somebody else's expectations at the expense of my family. I talked about my Air Force story a little bit. I served for nine years. I loved every minute of it. 
but the balance was starting to be skewed. I loved what I was doing. It was very important, but I'd get home at the end of the day and be too tired to give my kids and my family my all also. And I'd rather be tired and exhausted at the end of the day, knowing my family got my best, not the Air Force. Just saying. So once, once it started slipping, that's when I really, really had to reevaluate my, re my priorities and fix that balance that was out of whack. I had to go to therapy appointments five days a week for my son. Those are my lovely kids downstairs. They're being babysat by my glorious 12-year-old daughter. Thank you. But you're going to hear loudness. I'm always just listening to what is going on there a little bit. So God called me home. I was obedient. I was able to be there for my family. I was able to be there for my son. And I was able to continue to be there for my family, be there for my son, and expand our dreams. I'm able to provide for my family and give them wellness care. Wellness care costs money. Sick care is insured. Wellness care costs money. We just got back from the chiropractor. Let me tell ya, wellness care costs money. And if you just had a beginning Young Living salary, a couple hundred a month, that could pay for your chiropractic visits. And all that is doing is giving people freedom of informed choice and then you get freedom of life. And you have the opportunity to share freedom of life with them. So I just shared my business why in my product class as I was wrapping up. And this shared with these people, oh, this, I can share this. And this might change my life. So it's planting seeds. The next part you want to explain to them is position and timing. You want, to um, you want them to really know why they have joined Young Living at the right time. Why is now the perfect time to join? So we talked about those stats. But the world is demanding transparency right now. Or the United States is starting to demand transparency. They're getting fed up with having the blinders pulled over their eyes and people pretending nothing is happening. People are waking up and it's glorious, right? So that's why either because the company is a good company or they're just responding to market demands, they are greening up their products. A lot of restaurants are becoming non-GMO. Um, a lot of foods are becoming gluten-free. Uh, a lot of chains and like Kraft Mac and Cheese pulled color dye out of their macaroni and cheese. It's still gross food. <laughs> but they pulled the dyes out. Like they may not care, but they are responding to market demands. But you know what Young Living has that they never had? Young Living did not have to respond to market demands. Young Living did not have to change their marketing or change their product based off of the trends of wellness in this country. Young Living was always wellness. Young Living was always beyond organic. Young Living was what these people are coming to. So you are joining a wellness company that is rooted in truth. At a time when people are demanding wellness. Perfect timing. And then what we get to do is what we call assembling the ask. Ask. K. All right. <laughs> you have to tell people how to get the product. This is where a lot of people end. They teach a bomb class. Bomb.com. 
I'm in my 30s. All right, I can say that. Off the chain. They teach an amazing class, and then they get meek. They don't want to sell anything, so they don't even tell people where to buy it. And then those people leave that class and say, that was amazing. I know I need this, but I guess my friend doesn't sell it. She just educates on it. So the very next person she sees that is bold enough to say, buy this from me, that's where she signs up. You planted a seed for somebody else to harvest. You have to tell them how to get the product. They came to your class for a reason. They want to hear this. And I go in with 100% confidence and knowing in my knower, I start my class vision, visualizing a packed living room, a packed venue. People can't wait to get in. Everybody there is signing up. Everybody is there is joining on ER. Everybody there can't wait to share with a friend. This is what I expect. So I speak from that authority and that knowledge. So I share as if it has already happened. When would you like to join? Not would you like to join. Like, how would you like to start? Which product would you like to start with? Because they're starting. If they decide otherwise, that's on them. But as far as I'm concerned, they're in the door. So I speak from that positivity and that authority. And that is going to transfer confidence to them. Your confidence in this product and them makes them feel confident. Because in a class, you are not sharing, you are not selling product. You're not. You're sharing a little bit about the product. You're sharing a little about the dream and the vision, but you are selling yourself. You are selling you. So your job during the class is to be engaging and to emotionally connect and be confident enough that these people want more of you. These people trust you. So they're willing to give the product a try. And then they fall in love with the product on their own. So be confident. It's what people are going to fall in love with long before they fall in love with the product. I love the, the good, better, best model. Have any, has anybody heard of the good, better, best model? This is by uh, Christopher and Vicki Opfer. And I use this all the time. I've adapted it, of course. Everybody needs to adapt everything you learn to yourself. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You take my outline. You take my tidbits. Take what you like out of it and make it you. All right? So this is my closing. I'm going to read it to you so I don't miss anything. But pay attention to what I am doing intentionally that leads to enrollment, all right? So when I wrap up the class, I say, so which kit would you like to start with? You really have a good, better, and best option. Good is retail. It is a la carte shopping from the product catalog, but you're paying full retail price. It is only a good option because you are getting these great products in your hands. A better scenario would be a wholesale account. You activate your wholesale membership with one of these really popular and deeply discounted starter kits. Once you order your kit, your kit you have access to the entire product catalog at 24% off retail. Woot! <laughs> your best option though is your broccoli option. Hang with me, all right? You have health goals. You wouldn't be here today if you didn't. Your body did not get into the state it is in overnight, and it would not be fixed overnight. Just as eating one serving of broccoli, see, we got back to it, 
will not solve all your diet problems that took years to accumulate. Unlocking your wholesale pricing and getting on essential rewards is your best option. And pause here. This is not the first time I've mentioned essential rewards. During the entire product class, I am peppering in my monthly subscription box, in my monthly subscription box, in my monthly subscription box. So this is not the first time they've heard of essential rewards. All right, unpause. <laughs> and getting on the essential rewards subscription is your best option. It is the absolute thriftiest way to make true lifestyle changes. So may I challenge you, are you ready to commit to your first goal? I challenge you to join the essential, to join the essential rewards subscription program and commit to a health goal for 90 days. I will help you decide what you need to get to achieve that goal that fits in your budget. After 90 days, I will reimburse all of your shipping, and this is my personal thing, you make it yours. All of your shipping costs up to $21, and we can see where you're at. Deal? So what did I purposely do right there that leads to enrollment? First off, I got them thinking big picture. I got them thinking future goals, not just, oh, I really like what she said about lavender. But I got them thinking health goals. Oh, I get to carry this into my lifestyle. I got them thinking big, big picture. I led with the assumption that they would buy. That's conscious language. Marcella von Harding, look her up. Conscious language for them, but conscious language for me. Conscious language increases my confidence. And when I am confident, everyone can feel it. All right? When I share and I don't outwardly apologize for the price or I don't outwardly fear that they're not going to want it, they can still feel it in my body language and they can still feel it in my intonation and they can still, they can feel it. But if I'm using conscious, powerful language, it benefits them and it benefits me. All right. So positive language. When you buy, everything was on the positive side, not the negative. When you say the exact same thing, in a positive way, it gets the brain thinking action. They did a study, simple, as simple as a sign, don't forget the ice, versus remember the ice. And so many poor people left the store with ice when it said remember the ice. Because when you said don't forget the ice, the brain's like forget the ice. Negative, forget the ice. Hmm, I forgot the ice. Lead with the positive. Positive body language. Lean in, engage. Don't be meek, don't crush your arms. Don't do anything that makes you smaller. Small is meek, small is insecure. Do it in front of a mirror, all right? Tape yourself. Watch yourself. Speak of value and thriftiness. I am not, like I used to say, it's only, a, it's like, it's $160, but it's a really good value, but it's so worth it. Then I'm like, then people are like, ooh, 160. Even she knows that's a lot. I don't believe it's valuable yet. I know nothing about it. I'm going to have to think about it for a while. But when I say, this is the absolute thriftiest way to make true lifestyle changes. The kit is only $165. It is, I haven't even done the math now that it's a $165 kit worth over a $400. So it's way more than 50% off now. You talk about how dirt cheap they're getting this amazing wellness kit. Because we know the value. 
do not apologize for that dirt cheap price. All right? Do not assume it's too expensive for somebody. You do not make people's financial decisions for them. That's their job. It's their job to find the money. It's our job to tell them that it's a good stinking deal. I gave them control. When I challenged them to a 90-day health goal and challenged them to join on the subscription program, first off, never, ever, ever use the word auto ship. Auto ship terrifies people. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get this every month. I'm going to get the same thing. Young Living is going to take all my money. I'm never going to be able to cancel it. I'm going to end up hating them. This horrible idea I'm not starting. But if you say, hey, 90 days, they're like, oh, I can do that. That's doable. There's an end date in sight. And if I want to quit at that point, I can quit. You just gave them control. And you gave them an action plan. They're not walking out that door saying, okay, now what do I do with this? No, you're going to take that and you are going to make health goals with them. The Grow Workbase three-month wellness plan, is it four-month wellness plan? This is where I go. I love that wellness plan. And you're working it out in their budget and working with things they already have and then making some recommendations from outside what they bought. So they left in feeling empowered, not wondering what they're going to do next. All right? And then you just work with them in your follow-up to keep them feeling empowered and forward momentum. And I gave them a goal. So the 90-day challenge helps them feel in control. They don't feel trapped into that endless auto ship program before they know anything about the company. When you get put the ball in somebody's court, they usually jump for it. If they need to think about it, of course, you're going to respect that. Get it on the calendar. Do not say goodbye without a follow-up scheduled. I'll be contacting you tomorrow at noon. Does that work for you? If not, when? Get it scheduled. So then when you call them, you don't feel like you're intruding. It's their appointment that they scheduled with you. You're not intruding. You're holding up your end of the bargain. You're into the deal. Um, you always invite people to host. So at the end of your class, after you're done talking, you say, I, we, however many hosts you have there, we'll be over there to help you assemble your orders. Mingle and enjoy the oil-infused treats while you wait. Make it simple food. And then ornate, if you're an entertainer, think about what you're doing. I know you're loving on them and I know it's your heart and it's your love language. But when you put out an ornate display, you're showing people that if they don't have that gifting, they can't host a class. Everything you do has to be duplicable. Put out simple food. Buy store-bought hummus and add some lemon vitality. Make some guacamole or buy some good. Some guacamole is nasty. Buy some guacamole. Holy guacamole is good. And add some lime vitality or make your own. Or make up a brownie mix and add some peppermint. Have some water or some sparkling water out there that they can add citrus to. Simple, 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 simple. But you're just saying, hey... Here's some more oils to try. And do the food after the presentation. Don't have people mingling while they're coming to class. This delays class like none other. And when you're inviting people to come over and sign up at the end of class, if you don't have something for them to do, eat. It is such an awkward mingling at the end and they just leave they're not going to wait for their turn do the food after class they can mingle and eat while they're waiting for their turn to sit down with you 
So when they sit down with you, you really want to know, so what did you hear today that spoke to you? And walk them through the sign up. You help them add additional items to their second month on ER because now you can put their kit on the first month of ER and set up their second month of ER directly from the sign up page. Thank you, Young Living. And then you'll automatically get that $15 bonus for the second month. So now your bonus for signing somebody up and getting them on essential rewards is $65. So what did you hear today that spoke to you? You add those things and you discuss their health goals and you add those things to their first month's ER order. And then you always ask, who do you know that this lifestyle would bless? You cannot leave without asking for a referral. First off, when you're teaching it in their first class, most people teach a class Psychologically, you teach a class like the first one you got. That's how you think you teach. And it's really hard for your brain to shift from that. So if in the first class you teach, you invite them to share, that's how they're going to teach. Who do you know that this lifestyle would bless? I'd love to help them start the journey with you. Let's get you on the schedule to host your very, this very class. Besides changing their lives, you'll get a thank you check from Young Living for doing so. You don't want to host? Referrals, please. Always ask for referrals. If you want to explore turning your love for this lifestyle into a way to earn some extra cash income or even explore a new career, I'd love to mentor you. I'm so excited to hear your amazing testimonies. You get them signed up. You send them your information, your intro materials. You follow up. Three days after they get their kit. Nine days after they get their kit and like 30. Isn't that how it is? Just keep following up. And you walk them through those first three months and ensure they fall in love with the product. Because you don't help, if you don't help them fall in love with the product in the first few months, they are going to fall out of your downline in 12 months. Because they didn't use it. They might pull out lavender in the diffuser every once in a while. But it made no impact on their health. You have to help them find their very first transformation. All right? That's your job. Help them transform. you're done. That's your class. So if you have any questions, let me know. It was such a pleasure sharing with you guys today. I love you. You have an amazing week. If you're on spring break like I am here in Alaska, enjoy the spring. We have fake spring in Alaska. It's still snowy, but it's melting. <laughs> We're playing in the puddles. Um, we have a lot less snow than my in-laws have in the Midwest. Um, love you. Hello, Katrina. I'll talk to you later. You're welcome, Sheree. Bye, you guys.